This is an operational amplifier wired up to generate an oscillating voltage. Adding a second op amp to act as a comparator converts the varying voltage into a series of pulses whose width varies according to an input reference voltage. Here that input voltage is supplied by another much slower op amp oscillator circuit. The resulting pulse width modulated signal can be used to animate the brightness of light emitting diodes to give this gentle pulsating effect. With three comparators and one oscillator, we can use pulse width modulation to select the colors of RGB LED light strips. You can buy a device off Amazon, eBay, AliExpress that does exactly this. A couple years ago, Big Clive did a teardown of one. In it he found two dual op amps, but also a 555 timer that functioned as the oscillator. As was pointed out in the comments, the 555 was completely unnecessary as there was an unused op amp on one of the LM358s. I have used no 555 timers in my birdboard circuit and I can select any RGB color using these three linear potentiometers. One problem though, if I want to sweep through the colors of the rainbow I have to move multiple potentiometers in a carefully orchestrated sequence. Is there a simpler way? Wouldn't it be cool if you had an RGB LED and you had a potentiometer and you just swept through all the colors it could do just in one really nice movement? Doesn't everyone have those thoughts on a normal day? While they're I hear you Blitz City DIY. Now Liz solved the problem of using just one potentiometer to sweep through all the colors of the rainbow with the help of a microcontroller. But I was wondering, can this be done with just op amps? If we insert an op amp buffer and an adjustable inverting amplifier between the potentiometer and comparator, we can now tune the shape of the voltage function. Adjusting this trim part makes the linear potentiometer sweep through the full PWM range over a much shorter wiper travel distance. Adjusting the other trim part shifts al where along the linear potentiometer the voltage ramp down will occur. By swapping the inputs of the comparator, the direction of the voltage ramp will be reversed. The widest pulse width will now be on the right end of the linear potentiometer. To create more interesting voltage variations, these two types of voltage ramps can be combined. Here I've used diode logic to make an OR gate, which is equivalent to applying a maximum operator to the two control voltages. For this to work, the comparator where I've swapped the inputs needs to use an inverted version of the oscillator output to ensure that the phases of the PWM signals match up. Diode logic for an AND gate when applied to PWM signals is equivalent to applying the minimum operator. As we are using NPN transistors to sync current from the LEDs, the diode logic output is unable to drop below the base emitter voltage in order to shut off the current. It will have to be quantized by another op-amp comparator in order to obtain binary voltage values. And here's the final result. Sweeping the linear potentiometer from left to right causes the LED colors to change from red to orange, then yellow, green, blue, and finally magenta. And all it took was 14 op-amps.